Good afternoon, good afternoon on this special Easter weekend. Happy Easter to you guys. All right, we're going to go to over to Jew's house, have dinner. I just got out of work. As you can see, I have my pink shirt on, so I can kind of represent a little bit of Easter. We are going to go eat some, some pretty good food, thanks to you, Teresa. But in the meantime, I am running late, because you know, I just got out of work. I worked from 8 to 4, ran out of work, kind of snuck out a little bit earlier. Got here to work, and now I am fully dressed and ready to go. We're at Drew's place now. They have the food ready. I've been waiting for this. I didn't eat all day today. We're gonna be together with the family, in which that's what we try to do every single time. We arrived. Now let's see who's here. Mind you, it's been raining for the past three days, and um, I don't know when is it gonna stop, but in the meantime, I will not let that ruin my week Easter weekend. Happy Easter, bro. Happy Easter, brother. How you doing? Hi, folks. How you doing? Come on in. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. It smells awesome from the entrance. Oh, when you get inside. Who's in there? Like, everybody else is just waiting on me. Yeah. Well, Everybody's someone who started munching. That's fine. Know. That's fine. You guys want to see what she made? Check this out. <laughs> Cheesecake. I'm gonna taste that. You're not gonna. Mom, make it. Me make it. Awesome cooking, huh? Either make spinach, right? I'm tired. What's your I name? Got it. What's your name? Ian. I. Ian. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What is this? Um, just, just candy. Is this candy? Mm-hmm. You want candy? Mm -hmm. You open the candy. And what is that? This is my whole day whole cake chocolate. <laughs> okay. Uh, you open mine too. What is it? Yes. You open it chocolate. You open it chocolate. It's chocolate? Uh huh. Let me see your chocolate. <laughs> a shot of Jack Daniels fire I put it in the fridge I mean the freezer part of the fridge this way it stays all kind of iced up and everything the alcohol won't freeze up on it but it keeps it nice and chill Seems like a fa bad father, but I still open it. I have to like literally drive him. You to open this too? I don't want to wear that shirt. Maybe. I don't want to wear that shirt. Okay, go for it. Okay, try it. Allison tried some of that. Allison, you. Bad enough? She's not that brave. You'll we'll see. I'll, I'll do more than that. Yeah, go ahead. No, you got to try it. You, yeah, don't look. You try it. I'll do way more. No, you're yeah, going to try it. We'll see how hot it tingly is. <laughs> it's hot? It's not that bad, but ugh. For me to do this, Bro, I'm not gonna do it. Look at this guy. Wait, 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 wait,
hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you doing there? Ghost pepper, barbecue sauce. Try it out. I've already done the challenge. True. Go. I'm gonna order. We go. This one's. I'm gonna just... order. No, not what the is that one? Challenge. That one's habanero. That's Wango Tango. That's that's habanero. It's not as hot as that stuff. Is. I'm gonna order. But it's a second to it. So I'm gonna order a jar of the Mrs. Red. You already ate. Yeah. He Heart? says he eats chicken nuggets with it. Like it's like we eat with chicken nuggets with barbecue sauce. So how do you feel? <laughs> oh, I'm fine. Okay, it's not okay. as bad as the challenge. Yeah, so Hey, what's up? So, let me tell you a quick story. So, this man right here, obviously we travel together, we 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 go out to eat together, we visit each other. That does that didn't change anything. Now, mind you, let me tell you a quick story. So, this man right here, I wanted to show you guys how God inspired us to move forward and to become better, not to stay planted, but to continue to grow and move and advance. You got to use him in order for you to move and advance and such a goal so let me tell you about this man so this man has never ever owned a vehicle past 1999 1999 was probably his newest vehicle that he ever owned in his entire life mind you it is 2019 and throughout this time and even he himself has stated that he never expected to own a vehicle anywhere close to what he has today this is why i would love to introduce to you guys to the way the Lord blesses us with the ability to grow, advance, and conquer our goals as long as we have him leading the way. Allow him to tell you his story. Listen up. Oh, jeez. Um, all, all of my vehicles were usually somebody else's headache. I went paycheck to paycheck, so what I would do is I'd get what I can afford. I, I didn't have credit cards. I didn't have anything like that. I would... If I had cash, I would buy it. If I didn't have the cash for it, then I went without it. So um, all of my vehicles were usually old, old vehicles. I, my first vehicle was a 1966 Dodge Dart. Um, that, that was a $175 vehicle. Going from paycheck to paycheck like that, you, you have to take care of your bills first. And then, of course, you need money to make money. And I kept praying to the good Lord. He says, please, I, I, I need a reliable car. I need something that'll get me to work so that I can pay these bills. I need something that's really reliable, something newer. And it didn't happen right away. And it doesn't always happen right away, but don't give up just because it doesn't. You gotta believe things happen for a reason and they happen for a good reason. There was something waiting for me later on down the road. Now I ended up getting my last vehicle that I had recently was a 1999 Dodge Durango. I loved it. It was a V8, the same V8 engine I was looking for. It had four wheel drive. It wasn't expensive when I got it. My buddy Ariel got it, my bro, got it to me for $700. It was affordable and it was my trusted friend. It got me through all sorts of snowstorms. It got me back and forth to work. The farther away from work I got so that I can afford places to stay, that truck was still my trusted friend. What happened was after a while, if you live in New England, you know that salt and all of the stuff they put on the roads to get rid of all the snow is commonplace. It eats your vehicle away. This truck, to the day I got rid of it, ran like a brand new truck but the body was coming off of it from the salt and everything else. It was unsafe. I've got grandkids, I've got a family, I've got a wife, I've got two stepkids and my actual daughter. I was afraid after a while to put them in this thing. When I got rid of that truck, I was heartbroken. It was, it was my faithful friend It got me through everything. And my wife saw at a place down the street from us, literally, Four houses away from where we are, there's an automobile dealership that's there. And she saw a 2012 Buick Enclave. Absolutely beautiful car, nice shiny red car. She loved it. And I told her, you better look at the price that's in that windshield. That's an $11,600 car. I haven't got that in my bank account. I don't even have a down payment for that in my bank account. She's like, well, we can go over and look at it and see. Because I had gotten rid of the Durango, she rented a car. 
Once again, she saw the Buick sitting there, and I was looking at cheaper vehicles. Uh, once again, the older vehicles, somebody else's headache and stuff like that. But she said, why don't we see if we can get this? So I sat down and I just kind of prayed, please, Lord, please. It's not that I want it, it's that we really need it. We need something reliable. We need something that my grandkids will be safe in, my family will be safe in. Please, Lord, just, just, just hear my prayer. Even if it's answered no, at least hear it, maybe later on down the road. We went into this place and looked at this vehicle. I was looking at cheaper vehicles and the fella came out, can I help you folks? And I said, yeah, we'll explain my plight. We're looking for a newer, reliable vehicle. My wife likes the Buick. I said, but um, I'm not certain if I can afford this thing or not. I said, I'd like to start with the Buick and see if I can afford it. If not, then I was looking at a couple other vehicles. Well, step in my office and let's see what we can do. The good Lord knows your heart, knows when you're sincere about something. He really does. Folks, trust in God and trust in Jesus. You see, you guys, you see, when you believe and have faith, it is all possible. That was the good Lord doing that. See? That was you're the good Lord him? doing it. You're hearing it from him. I'm, I'm a witness. I can tell you firsthand. I didn't think I'd be able to afford this vehicle. Do you want to show the viewers your vehicle? First time, 2000, 2012. Newer vehicle for this man. Do you want to show the world? Sure. Let's show the world. <laughs>